In this video, we will be going over Esports Boxing Club and what we can expect the differences will be compared to Fight Night Champion, the last boxing game we got on any console. Let's go. All right, let's start with career mode. You start in the bottom in the Olympics in like a gym-esque setting, fighting your way through and you work your way up to the top until you get to that big, big level. And then once you've hit that level, you're able to progress into different weight divisions, whether that means you're a cruiserweight going into the heavyweight division or light heavyweight going into cruiserweight, etc., etc. Now, in comparison to Esports Boxing Club, there has been little given away of what we can expect from the career mode. The one thing we can expect though is a cutman, trainer, and promoter to be behind you as you go through your career. I'm literally just looking at some of the trainers and coaches that have been announced so far. We've got Buddy McGirt, we've got Robert Garcia, we've got Eddie Reynoso, Ben Davidson, Dave Coldwell, Grant Smith, Frank Greaves, some really, really big names in the game. And that is also similar for the promoters that are available. With Lou DiBella, Sam Jones and Lee Eaton, just some of the promoters that have been announced with more to come. Hopefully one of them spots being to Eddie Hearn and the other to Frank Warren. These are aspects of Fight Night Champion that were completely missing in the game. You didn't get to choose your cup, man. You didn't get to choose your promoter. You didn't get to choose who trained you. Whoever you had was whoever you had. And you went through the ranks with that individual. Esports Boxing Club are trying to ground themselves in reality. The less money you have as a boxer, the opportunities won't be there for you. You won't get a Sam Jones or a Lou DiBella straight away. I imagine you're going to have to start off with a small time promoter and eventually work your way up to get to the big dogs, which will also be the case for your cup men and trainer. Now, if there's one thing that Esports Boxing Club can take from Fight Night, it is their character create a system. This is the shining star of Fight Night Champion. Once you've gone through the whole roster of what Fight Night Champion has to offer, character create a system allows you to create some of your fan favorite fighters and put them in the game. Additionally, you can also go into Fight Night's online creator character system, where there are tons of brand new fighters readily available for you to download and put on the game. Fighters like Floyd Mayweather, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Rocky Balboa, Polo Creed, all the big names that you can think of are on Fight Night. You've just gotta download them. Now we've seen glimpses of what the character creator system is gonna look like from Esports Boxing Club. Customizing yourself to be in the game to fight some of the big superstars in the world of boxing. It is yet to be determined whether we can create our own superstars. I imagine with a bit of creativity, I'm sure it's possible. It's definitely an area that Esports Boxing Club can learn from Fight Night Champion. Now this is a big one roster comparison. On Fight Night Champion, you have the big superstars on the game. I'm talking Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Muhammad Ali, Shane Mosey, Oscar De La Hoya, Zab Judah, they're all on this game. It's actually quite impressive that they've managed to pull this off. Don't get me wrong, EA are no small time business and I'm sure they had to pay big money to get some of these names on there but it is impressive the names available that are spread amongst banterweight all the way up to heavyweight. All the divisions are completely filled with superstars. Now, comparing to Esports Boxing Club, we've obviously had Muhammad Ali confirmed, but we've got Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Frazier, Floyd Patterson, Jack Dempsey, Roy Jones Jr., Lomachenko, Tim Bradley, and Alexander Usyk, just to name a few. And with the additions of the female boxers like Clarissa Shields and Katie Taylor, Esports Boxing Club is the first boxing game ever to feature female fighters, something I'm excited for. The only critique I do have of Esports Boxing Club is that some weight divisions look healthier than others, but I know it's early days, and I'm sure that more fighters will be revealed in due time. The next up is graphics versus graphics. If you don't know, I actually did a video a few weeks back on graphic comparison between Fight Night and Esports Boxing Club, I'll put the link here, so check it out if you are interested. But the one thing you have to give respect for, for Fight Night Champion is that the graphics on the game look absolutely brilliant. For a game that came out in 2010, it still holds up today. I remember Fight Night used to be the staple of graphics back in the day, and you can definitely tell why. You can see a lot of work had come into making the fighters look and feel real. With all fighters having their own attributes that enables them to differ from one another, Mike Tyson obviously has that power, while someone like Muhammad Ali has the speed, and Klitschko uses his jab really well. But for Esports Boxing Club, this is something we should be excited for as fans. The graphics on Esports Boxing Club look absolutely amazing. They're using high quality models with the fighters actually being scanned to ensure that they have the correct footwork, movement and punches that they would actually land within a real fight. There has definitely been no stone unturned when it comes to this game. It looks absolutely amazing. Just the little details of when a fighter gets punched in the face, their face squishes up 
from the damage that it's taking. The two things I am interested in though, is how the audience will react as well as the referee and how the knockout systems will work on the game. The one thing Fight Night does really well is when the character gets knocked out, they have the ragdoll approach where they just kind of slump and each knockout is very different. I hope Fight Night has something very similar to that. And carrying on that discussion of gameplay, I think that's the next big thing to compare. We have Fight Night Champion that focused on making a good, solid arcade game. It doesn't matter what level you are, you can pick up the controller and just play. It's perfect for gamers that aren't always on their consoles and just want to pick up and have a great boxing experience. Esports Boxing Club is going to be very different to that. We're going to have strategic gameplay. You need to get experience within the game in order to really master what Esports Boxing Club is all about, which is very similar to boxing. Me fighting someone like Joe Joyce will be very different to fighting someone like Muhammad Ali within Esports Boxing Club very different styles and you will feel that within the game. Are you utilizing the jab? Are you listening to your corner? These are all the things that you will have to take into consideration when playing Esports Boxing Club. Representatives of the game have even said you can get knocked out at any point. If your guard is not up or you're not defending yourself properly, you could be winning a fight for seven rounds and get hit with one lucky punch and it is game over. The other thing I really like is how realistic damage looks on the face. I'm going to put a picture up like here-ish where you can see the damage around the eye. We don't know whether that damage around the eye will make a referee stop the fight completely, but we do know it will impact you during the fight. This is very true to life in boxing. Billy Joe Saunders recently fought Canelo and had to stop on his stool because of an eye injury. You will be forced to learn how to defend yourself within this game. This is not something we've had to do in Fight Night because it's very much an arcade-esque game you press buttons and hope for the best. There is an ounce of technicality to Fight Night, but not to the level we can expect from Esports Boxing Club. I've always said I like the idea of a rival company coming out to Esports Boxing Club that will offer that arcade experience and have the option for both arcade and strategic gameplay. There's nothing wrong with either choice. And that is the main comparisons. Two very different boxing games. If you did want to pick up Fight Night, you will most likely have to get yourself an Xbox as I think it's available on the Xbox store. I haven't seen it available on PlayStation, but let me know in the comments if you have. Let me know in the comments below which feature you're most excited for. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you'll be helping me out massively. Hashtag road to 1000 subscribers. You take care guys. Peace.